Clint Otto has an office at the Northern Prairie Wildlife Research Center. However, he doesn't spend much time there. He figures his time is much better spent among his study subjects. What we study here is uh, the effects of land use and land use change on, on honeybees and, and other pollinators right here in the northern Great Plains. It's a circle of life in the honeybee world, of mutual benefit, if you will. The bees need nectar and pollen produced by flowers. The flowers, in turn, thrive because of what the bees provide. The bees are gathering resources, and in return, the flowers themselves um, are benefiting from that interaction of a bee landing on the flower and providing a pollination service. Although Clint Otto's research is mainly focused on the insect world, it translates into data that is very useful to wildlife agencies like Game and Fish. I'd like to think that our research is closely in line with um, some of these other services that wildlife agencies may care about, that is, how do conservation lands and intact grassland systems provide habitat for wildlife? We're, we're asking very similar questions for pollinators. Part of the study is dedicated to the loss of prime grassland habitat and how it's affecting pollinator populations. Also, how pesticides might affect the insects. There's emerging evidence to show that that can have a measurable uh, negative effect on bee health as well. When asked who the bee study relates to the most, he said, only people who like to eat. And then quoted one finding from the study, roughly one in three bites of food that we take in the U.S. can be attributed to pollinators. This is Tom Jensen, Outdoors.